So I've tried to make here in miniature at home a version of something we would do in class. So we look at something called the rope loop model. So if you can try and picture the bigger version and then I'll, I'll talk through this little demonstration. So what we would have is a big loop of rope. We would all stand around the outside of the class and then we would have our hands sort of out like that with the rope going through our hands just gently. So we'd all stand in a circle around the outside of the classroom representing the circuit. Now because I'm the teacher, I'm going to be boss, so I am going to be the battery, or it could be a cell. So a cell is just an individual unit and a battery is a combination of cells. I'm going to stick with the word battery for now because that's the word you're going to be more familiar with. So I'm going to be the battery. Okay, so what I do is I provide the push to get the charges flowing around the circuit. Okay, so I should do, hopefully I can get a nice smooth movement going on. Okay, you can see that the charges start to flow around the circuit. So I'm going to represent the battery. I've got that one stuck. Okay, what the battery does is provide the push or it sets the charged particles in motion. So the charged particles are called electrons. See that? Electrons okay, and they flow around the circuit. So as they start to move, okay, we say that they are flowing round. So the flow, they've got a charge. So the flow of charge is represented by this little bit of string or our rope. Okay, and we call the flow of charge current. So what the loop of rope is representing is the current flowing around the circuit. So what this model is good at showing is that if we look, as I start the battery, sets the particles in motion, you can see that the current starts to flow. If we imagine that the battery is off, and then I start it again. Okay, you can see as a loop, okay, that the charge flows in every part of the circuit at the same time. So what it doesn't do, and what some people think, is that it starts at the battery and then the battery is like turning on a tap, and that the water then slowly makes its way around. Or you might even think that it's quite quick like the speed of light or something but that actually it starts here and then it goes one after another like water filling up a pipe. That is not what happens. So as soon as the battery is turned on the charges start to flow and they start to flow in every part of the circuit at the same time. So what we have here is a battery being shown by me. The battery sets the particles in motion and then we have the rope, which is showing the flow of charge or the current around the circuit.